Hello there. It's a fitting greeting, considering which show comes out tomorrow, because today is the 26th of May that I'm recording this. Important things are happening tomorrow, both on the Netflix side and the Disney Plus side. Um, so that's all very exciting, but in the meantime, I'm continuing with The Witcher 3. Uh, and we are going to... Uh, go recruit some more people because I took care of the last few markers in Velen and Novigrad. Um, yeah. I'm really tired if you can't tell. <laughs> but I want to play Witcher, so here I am. Uh, world map. The curse that held him up proved hard oh, to Oh, I know. But Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed. Oh wait, do I have too much? I'm not overburdened, game. What is your fucking problem? Hi. Because apparently I'm overburdened when I'm really not, so <laughs> don't know what that's all about, but it's wrong. Hi. Your Imperial Majesty. Witcher? Why have you come? I've managed to find out where Ciri is. Finally, I'd begun to doubt the wisdom of enlisting you. Fuck you. Bring her here at once. The Wild Hunt's pursuing her. Kaer Morin's the only place she'll be safe. That was not a suggestion. I can defend my own daughter. Fuck you again. I doubt that. Can't compare the Wild Hunt to Temerian shield bearers or Lyrian archers. Facing it here would put Vizima at risk. Hundreds of innocents could die. Kaer Morhen is in a wilderness, and your army stands to be far more helpful there. Hmm. Agreed. I shall send a banner with you. On one condition, General Voris will lead it. Can't agree to that. And I cannot agree to witches commanding my troops. Well, I'm not about to give in. You don't look it either. Sorry to take up your time, your majesty. Bring me Ciri. No. I will, if that's what she wants. Okay, well that was a no-go. And I'm no longer overburdened. I don't know what that was all about. That was very strange. Maybe the game just decided I had an adventuring capacity of 60 for like 30 seconds. Till show it. Let's go back to Skellige. Talk to some people. 
The curse Oops. that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf. Oh my and god, skip, you stupid fucking... Avalach, for this was his name, was... I hate how inconsistent those low schools are with skipping. Sometimes it lets you skip them fairly early on, sometimes it makes you wait. I think I'll come back and do these uh, last few markers uh, post game because I'll be higher leveled then and better able to deal with that. Here. Telling you, Geralt, since you and Yalmer defeated the Ice Giant together, I see you as one of our own. I got the look of a Skelliger. You've got the heart of an Uncrate. This isn't easy, but I need to ask you a favor. A big one. Tell me, friend. Siri, I know where she is. But I also know that as soon as I reach her, the Wild Hunt will know I did. They'll come after us, attack, and we'll need to respond with strength. Can I count on you? The Black Ones first, now wraiths. Such is life. Bring her here, and we'll face them in battle. Can't risk your men's lives. Care more in. We fight them there, nowhere else. Kaer Morhen is hundreds of miles away. To move an army there would take weeks. Not to mention, I'd expose the Isles to Nilfgaard's blows. Geralt, forgive me, but I cannot do it. I understand. Won't take up any more of your time. Farewell. Wait! Won't let you leave empty-handed. I'll help as I can. Come with me. Beautiful craftsmanship. Got a talented smith. Didn't he already give me a Not sword? I. King Erland on Crate did. Erland Stonefist? So this is Winter's Blade. Thought it was a legend. Forged in Mahakam, tempered in dragon fire. Been in the on Crate family for centuries. And now it's yours. me an overpowered sword? I mean, yeah, but if it's a family heirloom... Whatever. Thank you. This can't be easy for you. I appreciate it all the more. May it serve you well. Send those spectres back where they came from. That's my intention. Farewell. Respect, Witcher. <laughs> they smear your ass with funny yet hero. Hired on a ship. 
Apparently she's not on this elevation, but like... Grand those swords. Something I've always wondered. What did you witchers do for Ah, she's up here. Okay. And supper knives are good for Hi. Your Royal Majesty. Would you spare a moment? Come home, Geralt. I'm the same lass I was, save for the title. A lot of things changed. Got a delicate matter I wanted to bring up. Need your help. What is it? Crox mentioned Siri to you. He must have. Have you found her? Not yet, but I'm close. Problem is, as soon as I get to her, the Wild Hunt will probably be able to locate us quickly. So I'll want to take her to Kaer Morin. Battle the hunt there. I'm looking for allies. I can't leave the Isles now. It's impossible. What I can do is give you my best warrior. Yalmar. Think you'll be willing? I'm sure of it. In fact, I think he'll be overjoyed. Come on, you know him. Yeah, guess I do. Thanks. No doubt he'll be valiant. I hope he proves useful too. Good luck. Hell yeah. Uh. Sup? Ah, Geralt! How are things? The Wild Hunt's preparing to attack Kaer Morhen. Could use your help. Rates at the gate of your Witcher's stronghold. You're a friend of the clan. I cannot refuse you. What's more, no one crates ever stood in battle such a foe. I'll leave at once. Thanks. Won't forget this. Oh, it's so nice going back and visiting all the people we've sort of met in the story and got to know. And um Fucking sword. Yep. And it's it's like it's like Mass Effect 3 but one. but better. No, you know the payoff well, is well, is there. The uh, it's sort of like in, in Dragon Age Origins yeah, when sure. you're in the final battle and like all your companions um you have you have the area where you're with where all your companions are there and you fight alongside them. And it, it just feels like a reward for all the work you put in. And I love that this game is doing something like that. Mass Effect 3 does it to an extent, but with the ending being so rushed, it kind of doesn't have quite the weight and payoff that it should. Which is a real shame, because Mass Effect 3 could easily have been the best of the trilogy, but the, the ending, like, drags it down so much. Which is why Mass Effect 1 is still my favourite. I don't know, if, if I had to say what my top 5 favourite games were now, I'd probably say Dragon Age Origins is still number 1, then Mass Effect 1, and then probably this game. Witcher 3, and then Mass Effect 2. Although I know, there are things about Mass Effect 3 that I just love more than the other games. Because I am a hardcore Male Ship Caden fan. Um, <laughs> as you can probably tell, because the romance compilation I did of that is the most viewed video on my channel, it has over 40,000 views at this point, uh, which is pretty incredible. Um, but yeah, that, that's one of the things I love about the third game. It's that uh, you have that romance, um, and it's really great. Um, <laughs> but I, I, think, I think Mass Effect 2 is a better game overall, just because it, it doesn't have the shortcomings that 3 has. At least mo not mo most of them. Uh, yeah, the first game is still my favourite. Because the first one just has this really unique vibe to it. And tone. I think it's it's largely down to the soundtrack, I think. It, it's quite... Uh, it's got a, it gives it a very different feel to uh, the sequels.
I mean, I never played the original, but um, the remaster is fantastic. And I played the ever loving shit out of it when I first bought it, so. Yeah. Wait, where am I going? Wow, to literally the other side of the island. Okay. It's fine, we can fast travel there. Gonna kill the Kikismos. I love this. I just. This soundtrack. Man, it's so fucking good. Yeah, both this game and Dragon Age Origins have, like, incredible soundtracks. I don't know, Origins just feels very... Um... Nostalgic. Like, every so often I go back and play it, and then the party camp music just hits me in the feels. Friends we show heart, foes we show our acts, remember that. Yeah, this game has more of a chill vibe. I loved it. Uh, what I loved about The Witcher 2 is that it had that certain, like, whimsical sense up to it, despite it being a dark fantasy RPG. Um, and this game, I, I feel, it doesn't have quite as much of that vibe, but it definitely does have its very own, like. Slower. Mm. Oh, see in the cave. Talk. Oh, we're outside now? The Wild Hunt will attack Care Morin soon. Gonna need your help. A Wild Hunt? Are you certain? So, uh, you found Ciri? I know where she is. And the Wild Hunt will also learn that as soon as I find her. I see. I shall pack immediately. Leave tomorrow at the latest. Thank you. No need. I raised the girl and I've still a duty to her. I shall see you at Kaer Morhen. Good man. <laughs> the Isle of Myth. Get on a boat. Where is the nearest boat? So any of these boats uh, is cool, I guess. Any of these harbours, it is. Uh, let's head back to... There's something about this particular track that just Kellen the Ice Guy. It has such it's such a beautiful um vibe. I, I don't really know I don't really know how to put it into words how this track makes me feel. It's just so fucking good. Don't plan on fighting a venomous Arakas today. That can wait, thank you. And here we hey are. There.
can go to any of these harbors, so let's go to this one. The story of Professor Moreau. Is Joker in this game now? Let me jump over that. <laughs> wow. Boat. I'm on a boat. Travel to the Isle of Mists. Why? Is this thing incapable of going forwards? We may have run into a minor set. Oh no. What? Is there a rock there or something? <coughs> it just refuses to go forwards. Sake. What is that? He's a wood. Roman is this Isle of Mists. Oh, it's that. Oops. So it's, uh, okay. I get it. So I tried to go there before, but there was nothing there. Why is the game insisting that I be on a boat? I'm on a boat. What do you want? Extreme boat skills! Hell yeah! There's a rock. There certainly is a lot of mist here. It's living up to its name. So that's something. Oh. Okay. I've done everything I want to. The light, I'll, uh, what's his name? Avalak? Avalak. Amos. The curse that held Uma proved hard to. Oh my god, I the know! Managed to do it. The ugly so yeah, we've hit the point of no return.
follow the firefly. I love fireflies. I've seen some. I mean, you never get them here, but when I was in Japan uh, several years ago, we saw quite a few. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Fireflies here? God. Never. Fuck's sake, you again? Get off my boat, you fuckers! <laughs> fucking hate your kid and I. I'm sirens. Oh, fucking worst. Our landing. It is. Okay. Siri, where are you? I need to go more. What the fuck is that? in there? Damn. I'm not gonna hurt you. Open up. Oh, you blew a fucking cover. Who are you? What do you want? They call me Geralt. Who are you? Is that what you... I heard the ballad about this and that sorceress. What's her name? Shut it. Everyone's heard the goddamn ballad. Yennefer. Sorceress's name is Yennefer of Vengerberg. Hi, that's it. Her eyes flashing lightning. Her heart an icy bed. <laughs> uh, Man mum's beard. Get yourselves together, lads. You there, outside the door. Geralt, that right? Yeah, Geralt. Listen, Geralt. Let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck recently. Beasts from the depths ate some of my lads, and the rest of us found shelter here. Not too special, that, as dangers litter this isle, but it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrustful. Got nothing to fear from me, said the fox with a gaggle of geese. I've lost too many mates already. I won't risk it. I can't. Say I find your mates. Will you believe I mean no harm? 
Aye, but it's not counting either. I mean, too easy. How many are there? Me, Ivo, Gaspar, and Benny. This Ivo, where do I look? Edgar insisted he'd explore the caves to the east. Tried to knock it out his head. Literally, bugger wouldn't budge. Gaspard, where will I find him? He said it was defeatist. Gaspard de Chalon. <laughs> we had to take action, or at least he did. Claimed to have spotted a lantern out to sea, so he said he'd climb the highest peak to look out for ships. Where'd Ferenc go? West. In search of a ship that's said to be out there. Ferenc, he's uh, handy. Thought I might fix it up. Might be seaworthy. See if I can't find all three. See ya. I am content to understand. Okay, can, can we just cut to the chase and find Siri? I want to know if she's okay. I also... I want them to hug when they reunite. I want it. And if they don't hug, I will be really sad. Oh, fuck. Ah! Shit. That was not... Fuck. Okay, fuck. your friends. Come down. Right. I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I've one regret that... Oh, ah, ah. Dead. Damn. Does this place do funny things to people? Because I'm sort of getting that impression. God, please say Siri's okay. <laughs> uh. 
Hello? You up there? Back to bed, Nibbles. Wake up. Wh what's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. You and your friends. What's your story? Rabinick and Company. Real estate appraisal, insurance, mass event organization. Uh, Gaspard Sutter. My mates call me sleepy. I even slept through that storm. It's a shame so many died. Any chance you've seen an ashen-haired woman around here? Here? Nay, not a soul. But ooh, a lot passes me by on account of my sleeping. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc and Ivo. I'm afraid they're dead. Some horror swarmed Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. A blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy, meaning... I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. <sighs> Off we go, then. Am I gonna have to axe him? <laughs> the look of distaste. Than me, I'm so sorry. Wake up. All right, right, just a wee bit longer. Get up. Know much about this isle? Almost nothing. You know, it, it ain't on my map. A common characteristic of enchanted islands. Think it's enchanted. It's the one thing I'm sure of. This is going to be seventy five billion of these things. Place. Wait, what? Oh. I'm on that guy. I'm almost there. Enough. I've seen... Wake up. Yeah, I don't I don't want to go to school. Is your foot okay? So what is it brought you to this strange place? Looking for someone. Here? Mm-hmm. Just kind of turned out that way. Not too keen on talking about it, are you? Not really. Come on, who is that? 
This place seems safe enough. Just be sure and come back. <sighs> Make it quick, eh? Not that much to see here. friend. Another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shit. Roberick told me to have an eye on the snot. Twas his nephew. Thanks for helping. And, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me. But I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful sorry. What? What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. What? Must have passed shortly before we found her. She, she can't be dead. The boat. She can't be dead. What? Siri? What a shot, man.
And they say witches don't have emotions. I wanted them to hug. God, I did not mean like this. Wait, is that? <gasps> that was her. Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spalma. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. I wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morin, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalog? He's not let me down to date. Not once. Why exactly is Avalog helping you? Sages have never been fond of humans. Well, he doesn't do it for me. It's about my power. As if it could ever be about anything else. Avalok tried to teach me how to control my ability. He was also making sure I didn't fall into Eridan's hands. What's Eridan after? What's he want from you? What everyone wants. Control of my powers. His homeworld faces annihilation. Eridan's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? Can't achieve much on his own, so he needs to bring an army. Except his navigators can't possibly move him and thousands of NL between planes. Their abilities won't allow it. Whereas yours will. Exactly. And if I die in the process, well, that's a necessary sacrifice. Oh, God. I was not expecting to cry at this. <laughs> How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eridin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared, out of nowhere. He found a portal and took us to a world where Eridin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. The world where Eridan couldn't find you. What was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads. Waged war from a distance. Using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. 
Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> we should have stayed, though. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, felt like I was going around in circles. <laughs> I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward. So tell me how it happened, step by step. Eredin located us mere moments after we landed on Ard Skellig. Soon after, he and his riders surrounded us. I thought it was over, the end. Turned out Eredin had other plans. He produced the phylactery, uncorked it. A fog enveloped us, and Avalach began gasping for air. That's how Eredin cursed Avalach, triggered his transformation into Uma? Yes. He didn't wish to kill him. Humiliation, that's what he was after. But Avalach refused to succumb without a fight. He cast a spell that wrought havoc in the hunt's ranks. And in a full half of a forest on Ard Skellig. Yet it also gave us time to flee. Avalach opened a portal. I leapt in. He was supposed to follow right behind me, but something went awry. Impaired by the curse, he failed to reach the portal in time. We had agreed that if anything went wrong and we were separated, we would meet at his hideout in Venom. But you failed to meet there. Yes, we failed to. Once through the portal, instead of at Avalark's hideout, I landed right in the middle of Crookback Bog. I barely escaped the crones. And then there was the Baron. You know he took me hunting. I killed a wild boar with my sword. I heard. A coincidence, really. I had no desire to hunt that day, but it felt wrong to refuse. I'd taken nothing remotely resembling a hunting weapon. I simply hadn't intended to hunt. I was wandering through the forest, breathing deep the air. And then I heard a strange sound. Unsettling. Boar attacked you? Mm-hmm. Big as a bison, and lumbering straight at me. And all I had was my sword. I had to manage. Did just fine, judging by how the Baron's men remember it. Simple soldiers, the whole lot. But we got along splendidly. A shame I had to leave. Flee. But I didn't want to bring the wild hunt down on them. Apart from which, I knew by then the curse was progressing. So instead of looking for Avalach, I decided to find you and Yen. So how do you even meet a man like Horson Jr.? You and Yennefer were nowhere to be found, and I needed someone who could fix the phylactery. No ordinary craftsman would do. I needed a mage, one with extraordinary powers. Dandelion took it upon himself to help me. It was as if his honor depended on it. He arranged a meeting with a mage, but it proved a trap set by the temple guard. Hmm, failed to mention that. <laughs> Probably didn't want to worry you. Later, we learned the guard did that sort of thing regularly, in the hope of nabbing anyone who collaborated with mages. We needed to find another way. That was clear. Then Dandelion said he knew a man who owned a piece of Novigrad, as he put it, could do more than others. He was certain to know someone who could fix the phylactery. Orson Jr. Mm-hmm. I suspected it might not be the best idea, but I was desperate. I had no choice. You suspected right. Horson was not the ideal partner in crime. Damned Simpleton got it in his head that we cheated him and kidnapped Dudu. Who you promptly freed only to have to flee to Temple Isle. Great idea. We hadn't planned it. Had no time to consider. We just bolted. I didn't even realize the guardsmen were driving me into a trap. Suddenly there I was, and I knew I had to disappear. At once. And that's when you landed back in Skellige. The shore of Hindisfjall. The first pleasant place that came to mind. Hjalmar and I used to swim there. Wait, so... You actually wound up there by accident? I thought you and Avalok had arranged something. 
No, he simply sensed me use my power. Just as Eredin can sense where I am, where I travel. In fact, Eredin arrived soon after I did. His ride is in tow. Once again, things happened quickly. Lofferton, the hunt's attack, my flight. And then, dreams. Just dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh, that was horrible. I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dream, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? Know where it might be? I'm not sure. I don't think so. But there was something familiar about it. And something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead. But at the same time, I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance. And the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you, but you were cold as ice and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin. We're on a horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eredin to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. Listen, we gotta think of a way to... Oh no. Shit. Oh no. No, 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 no! Fuck. Get us out of here. They'll know where we've gone. They'll know how to find me. They already do. Siri, take us home. Welcome back, child. Siri! Jens excited. My, you've 
grown beautiful. No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. All just like I remembered. <laughs> what? Oh. Little sis. Tris! <gasps> Everyone's here. Here, everyone you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Tris, it's so good to see you. Damn, it's good to see you again. I... Maybe I'll give you two a moment. Tris, please. No, no, y you must have missed each other terribly. A minute's delay won't hurt anyone. Fine. So, a minute, then we go, all right? <sighs> this is just a little awkward. <laughs> 45 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> We've 45 seconds left. Well, 30 now. And then we throw the gauntlet at the wild hunt. So I beg you, use these seconds well. Yen, I adore you. Um, <laughs> no points for creativity, but for your candor. <laughs> Time to go. I love her. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a fucking wreck. Good to see you. Ha! You found her. Sultan. They told me the hunt was after her. That those buggers might bust in uninvited. So I've made a mark. So when you this gas will when work, this power blows, it shall. The, bits and pieces the druids. Just ignited at the right moment. God, this is such a fantastic payoff. To everything we've done. Triss is here, the druids are here, Zoltan's here. Everyone's here. She's one of us, Geralt. No way we'll let him take her. Oh, you being nice for a change? Damn, piece of junk. Barely younger than Vezin. <laughs> Let's go. Greetings, Wolf. Hey. You're here. Bridge. What the hell's better about flame and arrows anyway? They set things. And he light. brought theirs. Okay, question is, where the fuck is your birth? I want your birth. The fact that he's not been in this game has, or even been mentioned is a fucking crime. But even even then, I'm very happy with what I have, with what I got. Greetings, Geralt. Oh, Kira. I today, I wish to look smashing for the occasion. <laughs> Kira's here. Everyone is here. I bet if if I told Letho to come, he would have he would show up here as well. But I didn't because I don't trust him. So, <laughs> yeah. Get everybody together. Time to talk.
should look in that. Thank you for coming. The wild hunt will be here soon. Oh, They're help. coming for Siri. Want to take her? We'll stop them. How do you even know the hunt will show? They always know where I teleport to. And they move from place to place in an instant. So what's our plan? There aren't many of us, but I'd trust any of you with my life. Work together and we'll defeat the hunt. When they attack, Yen will dome the fortress with a magic shield. Hunt will be forced to land outside the walls. If they're dispersed out in the woods, we could hunt down small groups of riders. Got our first volunteer for the hunting party. I'm the second. The hunt will try to penetrate into the fortress through navigator portals. I can do nothing against this kind of magic, so you'll need to find and close as many as you can while hunting in the woods. Lambert will make us die meridian bombs. Remember the formula? Of course. Excellent. Erden should work on the portals as well. I shall also give you each an amulet. Snap them in half and you'll become invisible, at least while you remain still or move slowly. Move abruptly, engage any foes, clash with them, and they will see you. Apart from that, they will be able to hear you and smell you. If you come across a large unit, do not attack. Signal Triss and she will provide support. I'll look for your signal. Soon as I see it, I'll rain fire on the forest. Remember, there's only a few of us. We have to help each other, work together. If anything goes wrong and the hunt puts us on the defensive, we pull back, make a stand at the gates of the fortress. The inner courtyard is our last line of defense. If we don't stop them there, we're doomed. Ciri's most important in all of this. The hunt's after her, and we have to defend her at all costs. What do I do? Stay inside the keep. If they break through, come inside. We'll all converge to help you. Out of the question. I can look after myself. No one doubts that, child. But remember the most important moment when hunting a monster? Wait for an opportunity. After the council, I'll give you an amulet. If you use it, a ball of fire will land where you're standing, just in case. That was a last, last, last resort. What else do we have that we can use? Since you plan to ambush the hunt in the woods, I could dig some trapping pits, blue stripe style. Meaning? Deep as the dark abyss, bottoms bristling with sharpened stakes. I brought this Mahakaman mix. Flammable as bone dry saltpeter and plowing sticks to everything. We fill some barrels, stack them in a narrow passage, and fire them up at an opportune moment. You know we stand on a vast deposit of gas. If need be, I could open cracks in the earth, create explosions. I would need to prepare, though. There's the laboratory and the workshop. One thing to remember, we've got limited resources and even less time. We ought to decide what kind of weaponry will be most useful against the hunt. Absolutely. We need to assign one type of weaponry each to the lab and workshop. Who needs access to the lab? I started brewing some potions. Like to finish, if you don't mind. I could prepare more of those witcher's traps, but I'd need all the lab equipment. There aren't many of us, so we'll need to prepare as many traps as possible. Let's talk about the workshop. Been wanting to fix that breach in the wall, but we'll need the same tools to clear the rubble from the armory. Rubble? Haven't you heard? Roof caved in a couple of years back. There's some excellent swords in there. Swords we could use. Filling in the breach seems just as important. They come through there, the siege will be over awfully quick. I think the wall takes priority. Fixing the breach in the wall's a priority. We won't have time to do much else. Everything settled? Yes, settled. We don't have much time, so let's get to work. Let's sum up. Yennefer will create a magic barrier to repel the main assault. 
That should push the opposing force into the woods. Where Lambert and Geralt will be waiting. They'll use Dimeridium to close the Navigator's portals, stop as many warriors as possible from entering the fortress. Triss will be waiting for their signal, then give the riders hell. All others will repel any foes who make it inside the fortress walls. If anything goes wrong, we abandon the outer courtyard, pull back to the keep. Remember, Aridin can't get his hands on Ciri. That's most important. Let's look at the map of the fortress, figure out the details. Can't help feeling we've overlooked something important. Don't think about it. What's ready? Haven't had much time to prepare, so not much, honestly. I'm exposing you all to danger, unnecessarily. You worry too much. Wipe that frown off your face, we'll make it. Thanks. For everything. I'll saddle the horses. Come once you're ready to head into the woods. <sighs> it's almost time. Everyone. Got a minute. <sighs> Serious talk coming. Siri. I won't let them take you. You know that. I know. You gotta keep clear. Stay out of trouble. Don't treat me like a child. Didn't even do that when you were one. I like it when you smile. Come here. Hug. Everything will be all right. Seeing Geralt hugging people is all the therapy I will ever need for anything ever.
See that? It's starting. Woods, now. Come on, Roach. Don't let me down, I'll go. Siri, state. Gonna have to thank Yen once this is all over. That spell, really something. And the invisibility. Hounds could sniff you out, so don't get too close. And you'll be visible as soon as you start fighting. Remember that. Good work with these bombs, by the way. Aim at the portals. Be precise. I'm out of Dimeridium. Yen mentioned casting the Erden at the rifts. Said the sign could seal them. They're here. Time to say hello. Slow down. Element of surprise is key. Stay hidden. Give Triss a chance to show them what she can do. Then we'll hit him. Next time you get the feeling I'm about to piss off Marigold, make sure and knock me upside the head. <laughs> more worried about pissing off the end if I'm Roach's pits. Couldn't have asked for anything more perfect. Oh, do I have Damridian bombs equipped? I do. Are you kidding? We're lucky we didn't fall in. Relax. Roach is good at this kind of warfare. Others won't collapse under our weight. Hunt Rider in full plate. That's another story.
Not that I don't trust this invisibility shit. Mission problem solved. Geralt! Come here! Look! They're regrouping! See the commander? Name's Imlarith. I remember him from back when I rode with the hunt. Damn it. Spell's waning. We're becoming visible. What's with Marigold? Shit. Oh no. Triss? Do you have to play as the other characters? Is this a, a do we play as Siri? Yeah, we play as Siri. Because she just can't stay put. You were meant to wait inside! I refuse to sit idle while you risk your lives for me. Back inside! No! Geralt gave the signal from the woods and Triss hasn't cast the spell. Damn it! All right, run to her. Yeah, go Zoltan! <laughs> Hell yeah, that's my guy. Double chase! Choreography is so fucking good. Tris, help us out. Geralt! Oh shit, we're going. The spell is waiting. This is almost at the fortress. Fast approach. Don't stop. Never go to shield us. Wonder if it took him out. Imlarith? Doubt it. Imlarith, that's his name. Sounds very elfy. Go, oh, Roach, go! Lara 
Guards detachment approaching from the woods. We need to close the gate before they get inside. Get up. Where are the stairs? Jesus Christ! Uh, where? Okay. La da na. Lambert? I'm gonna have a, a thing. We gotta pull back. Yennefer's strength is waning. We're going, we're going. Heads up! Quest to destroy Camor and or. or uh, Going. What the fuck? How did I just die? Did I like, blow up or something? He'd open that gate. Hasn't done it yet. Means he'll be fine. We've got Triss to worry about now. Get Triss and Siri. Just in time. Yes, 
Shaky. We had to fall back. They tried to get in through the main gate. I'm afraid they could succeed next time. What's with Esco? We have to retreat. He's in trouble. I'm going to help him. Remember the stone I gave you. The blow yourself up stone. Oh god, is this... What's his name? Um, the guy that starts with E. The guy who starts with E, who isn't Eskil. Striking a few blows. Right. God, just the, the motion and the choreography is just phenomenal. Got a Siri to the rescue. See, I can do it too. I'm dead. This is what happens when you really wear armor, Siri. God. Let's open the gate! We can retreat beyond it! Fall back! You're not supposed to be out here. 
too late now. There's no telling Siri what to do. They're coming in through the gaps. Time meridian bombs. You'll find more in the crates by the walls. Oh, good. Gerard, hold them back. I must form a circle of vitality. We've got to close the portals. If we don't, we die. Stop blowing me up, damn it! Nightmare from the beginning, but it, it's it's him getting captured, not Siri. No, no. 
Carol, better fucking have unf unfreeze or or something. Huh. I, I forbid you, Siri. No. You always were an unruly child. I adored that about you.
<laughs> I... I was too late to help him. It's not your fault. I should not have fled here to Camorhan. Avalark is weak, but alive. Triss is tending to the others. I nearly killed you. Killed everyone. We'd all be dead if not for you. No, Geralt. The hunt would never have come to Kaer Morhen if I wasn't here. Vesemir's funeral. We should prepare. Himself. No witcher's ever died in his own bed. You don't know how it is to see someone you love die because of you, for you. We all knew what we were signing up for. Yes, and you saved me. For how long? A week? A month? We'll hide you, cover your tracks. No. I will flee no more. Vafail. For those who remain, death should never take precedence over life. Pay your last respects to your friend. Then we must hold counsel.
problem. Oh. Oh boy. I don't think I don't think I've ever cried this much at a video game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on. I need another tissue. minutes. I'm gonna get some water. Meanwhile, enjoy this lovely <laughs> view. I'll be right back. Jirel can harness immense amounts of the power. Why has no one taught her to control this? Actually, some did teach her. Clearly, to no effect. I'll gladly argue with you about this. Haven't had a chance to talk. Thanks for your help. And for looking after Siri. You will thank me later. Now we must take Jirel from here, Haida. And then gather a greater force. Anyone, everyone we could count on came here to care Morhen. Which is why we must seek the help of enemies. Magic is our best defense against the hunt. We need sorceresses, arch mistresses of magic. You mean the Lodge? Many of the Lodge's members are dead. The rest are in hiding. Philippa Eilhart, Margarita Loantil, and Fringilla Vigo are likely still alive. And Francesca and Ida? Think they'd agree? I think they'll take convincing. Would you rather speak to Kira alone? That would probably be best. Don't trust the Lodge one bit, but doesn't seem like we have a choice. Because we don't. I've made an agreement with the Emperor. In exchange for its help, the Lodge will be granted amnesty and find asylum in Nilfgaard. That will be our bargaining chip. Triss, I wish to leave today to find the sorceresses. Will you help me? Of course. Even got an idea where you could start. Damn it! Again you planned without even asking what I think. I've had enough of this. I won't be taken somewhere like a bundle. I will not sit and twiddle my thumbs. I am sick of waiting, sick of hiding. You're right. Prove today you can take care of yourself. Easier to pat someone on the back and hope things will work out than it is to face the truth. Jirel possesses a great power she cannot control. She is a danger to herself, to others. Until she learns to control it, she should remain isolated. First of all, bollocks. Second, if you're going to speak of courage, at least address me directly and not through Geralt. I'm gone. Better go after her. Wait, she needs time. We must let her resolve her grief on her own. Then we should start training as soon as possible. She must learn to control her abilities. This training really necessary? You saw what happened. 
She could be a greater threat than the hunt. Fine. We'll stay here a while longer, then join you and Triss in Novigrad. Meet at Dandelion's Inn. Come on, Yen. The sooner we leave, the better. See ya. Don't you see? Discouraged after a mere eight attempts? Sierra. How many times must I try? As many as it takes. But I'm not getting anywhere. Hmm. Oh, we shall return to this later. She, she's wearing it. Didn't make it far first time out on the gauntlet, either. Geralt, please, not now. By comparison, the gauntlet was a walk in the park. But that's not the point. What is? Avalar says nothing will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. But at the moment, I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. Tell me, how do you do it? What? Always manage to pull yourself together. Focus. No matter what's happening. Hmm. There's a certain ancient method. Vesemir taught it to me, and Barman taught it to him. Will you take me into the mountains and make me drink hemlock? <laughs> the Skellica druids have used it for centuries. It always works. Hey! A snowball fight? You'll regret that. <laughs> hey, that's cheating. <laughs> Win. We'll All see right. about that. <laughs> How do I pick up snow? Come and get me. Tell you how to pick up snowballs. Done playing nice. Oh, oh it's throwable. Missed. Fuck. How do I get more? Cheating. You're teleporting around.
you were right. That really works. Thanks. The hugs. Glad to be of service. Oh, so what the now? hugs? I'll go see where our dearest sage is. Oh. <sighs> Don't be a sore loser, girl. <laughs> Actually, no, he won, so he wouldn't be- he'd be a sore winner. Geralt! Geralt! Wake up! Siri, what are you- What? What? What's happening? Get up. We must go. I've saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen. Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. And guess who's the guest of honor? Don't know. Enlighten me. Imlarith. We'll have no better chance to get him. Where'd you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts, caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. How do you learn all this? Imlarith? The Sabbath? Avilach. He told me of those who chase us. Claims knowledge itself can tip the scales. Come. We shall talk on the way. <sighs> all right. Lead on. Ready? Let's go. Battle of Kaer Morin, the defenders lick their wounds and mourn their losses. I like how these Save narrations Siri are done by an older dandelion. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. We'll do this and then call it a day because, dear lord, I need a rest. After this emotional trauma. men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the ladies of the wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the barons thought the ladies of the wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the baron is. He's... Hanged himself after his wife died. Daughter's in Novigrad. A true shame. He wasn't a good person. He might have put on a show for you, but... Yeah. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the sacred oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlarith attends too, as the crones guest. Seem to know it well. Havelock's a good tutor. We stand to find Imlarith here? You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the Crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came here at Eridin's behest, to order the Crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked, in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally, judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlarith might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, 
flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and will be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlarith there. The peasant folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. I've no idea why. Okay. I... Now that we've reached a pause... I... am gonna end this part here. Because I'm a mess. And I need to go to sleep because it's half eleven. So, um, yeah, this has been, this part has been a fucking journey. Oh boy. I have never, I, yeah. the last time I cried at a video game was when I finished Mass Effect 3 and Anderson died. But that was not the level of, <sighs> this game has... In terms of emotions, this has Mass Effect 1B by a landslide. <sighs> but yeah. I'll be back uh, tomorrow. No, not tomorrow because I'll be binging Stranger Things and Obi-Wan Kenobi, but um, the day after. <laughs> if I'm not still doing the, either of those things. Um, I'll be back with more uh, Witcher 3 to continue with the main story. Um, and yeah. I'll see you guys next time.